Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. Today's video, what we're going to do is um, take the model that we have created in uh, previous videos and create a JSF page and then put that data on the page. using the data control. Now over here you can see that I have the employees EO and over here I have the em employees VO and um, there is a association and view link associated with this table because there is a relationship in the via uh, in the employee HR table where the manager who is an employee is also the manager of other employees so when we look at the application module and we look at the data model you can see that we have two employee employee VOs over here. And this one represents what would be the manager and this one represents what would be the staff of that manager. And we also have jobs. So um, now that I have the screen created, there's a number of different things that I can do here. I mean obviously I don't have to have just the I don't have to show the relationship necessarily. I could just decide to shoot this over, and I have quite a lot of courses, a lot of, a lot of selections that I can make. I can make an ADF form, and I would say the ADF table are the most popular. But they also have trees and uh, hierarchy. I'm going to actually cancel that because um, I'd like to show you how you can also do a master detail and you have to select the child table in order to get the master detail so in, in this case you have I usually like to have a form which will show one manager and then all the details of that a manager all of the staff he or report to him so when you get this you're going to have it automatically populate and you can see here now that we have this. We also might want to include some operations here. Most importantly, where is it? Down here. Name criteria. Where is it? Operations. Here it is. <laughs> Sorry. Commit. And you have these choices. I'm going to do it as a button so that it conforms to the current view. Now, um, some of the things that you can do is um, if we go over here and we look at the table, there's a structure window which you can view. I don't currently see it, so I'm going to change it over to here. Structure window. And um, I like to have it here, but you can move these windows around. Um, I generally like to have the structure window quite large because it, it is quite helpful to look at the entire screen and not have to spend a lot of time scrolling. But you can see that there is a column and then there is a um, another table here. Now you can actually go back and edit the table by clicking on it and then going over to the property inspector, which is right here, and choosing the pencil, which is edit. And uh, you can say row selection. Now, um, this is read only. You can change that also. I don't know if there's anything. I haven't checked to see if there's anywhere else set where this would be read only, but let's say uh, we don't. Well, we could have that. That's always nice to have. Or you could just have a date. 
but it automatically puts the date um, there for you. And obviously this one we would want to set up a list. In fact, we can do that in the next video. Now we can run it. And it's always good to start the server earlier than later because now we have to wait. Another thing that you can do with the table is uh, remove columns or sort columns. So I, I am actually going to remove some of these ones that we don't need. I remove a lot of them. And another thing to do that I always try to remember to do is set the width to either 80% or something like that or more so that it's not a small screen on the, on the form that pops up. Now again, also these ones you can get rid of also. Um, we don't need to have this. Although the manager ID might be useful to have. You don't need to have that. I'll just get the basics here. And it looks like I have selected not the... Yeah. Now I'm getting it. I need to get the outside. Sometimes it's easier just to do it from the um, structure window than from the screen because you get exactly what you want. Okay. Here we can see that we have the relationship. Um, pretty good. However, uh, there is a problem with the employee view because it is showing other people rather than just the um, one that we want. So um, that is a, a mild issue that we have to deal with. But um, it is pretty cool that it, it does most of the work for us as far as getting the relationship goes going. So I hope that was helpful and have a good evening.